They'll be calling your article. I'll get to the salmon numbers. No birds. Of course, it was almost 90 degrees, just 20 degrees above normal every day now. The new normal. Very sad day here. My amazing, incredible uncle. My dad died, I was a young guy, but I had him. Most accomplished person I ever known, my Uncle Claude, the fighter pilot, the athlete. God, what an accomplished person. The chemist, <laughs> BYU, four letters. God, what story, what an athlete. Look how bad numbers, but I want to talk about him briefly. I think he'll be buried at Arlington. So I'll be back there soon. Like the night's coming up off, so I'll juggle it. Dick Conley himself, towards the end of his life, says, you know, Kev, Claude's the greatest athlete in the history of this school we derived. Yeah. He was, when he was at the Pentagon, he was the guy that ran the whole theater for the Air Force in Japan for many years. The chemist. Boy, was he an anti-nuker. I believe he's the valedictorian. Chemistry, fighter pilot, football player. <laughs> wow, decathlete. He gave me this picture of my dad. My dad was nuked to death, his older brother. Is this isn't a classified? Yep. But I am classified. You tell any of those fuckers they got any problem, you come talk to me. Ooh. I remember my brother and he got in the beef. Fuck, he had to be pushing 80. I says, my money's on Claude. I would never fuck with him. What a fucking guy. So, Peterson, Coach Peterson said, Claude was 16 at Weber High School when Weber was on 12th in Washington. You ever thrown the javelin? As a sophomore, he just tore it up football. You know? You can run. You're strong. You ever throwing the javelin? Well, I've messed around. You know, I like to swing an axe with one hand when I'm cutting trees for my dad. He said the first time he threw it in his life, this is Coach Peterson told me, it landed in the track. Broke the state record by six feet. It's kind of his dude. For the first missions into Nam. Gotta hear those stories. Oh my god. A lot of the Alaska numbers I get are from him. Well, he's an anti nuclear too. Green chemistry, fighter pilot. <laughs> world class, world class athlete. What a mind. I was so close to him my whole life. What a son, huh? Remember when my dad died? Drove from Alaska. On his deathbed. And right as he got there, my dad died at sunset right here. Probably where he was born. The last words my father heard was his brother Clyde. Great journey, brother. Great journey, brother. He'll be buried up on the high hill at Arlington. I always thought he'd live to be a hundred. I mean, he had the physicality of a freaking 40-year-old. He was 86. Mind like a trap. Genius. God, the stories he had about Johnson. He worked for Johnson for a long time. God, the stories in Japan. Wow. I mean, hmm. Hmm. That day he was born right there. Very close to his mother and father. They're all gone, them boys that went to war. My dad was drafted Marine, died young. His older brother, Omaha Beach, D Day. He's dead. Uh -huh. Cloud, those three boys, whoa. Whoa. Talk about freaking honor and dignity men. Those were three men, boy. Uh, he didn't go to war, but 
This is the last of the Mohicans. That was three men, boy. And I mean men. Beautiful, strong, nothing but integrity, nothing but honor, nothing but. Always there for me. Always. What a sunset. Not a bird. This is the flyway. Not a bird. Mm. Not a bird. Late September on the mighty, great flyway. So as you know, I've been working on this. Very spiritual. He believed in the hereafter. They could have kept him alive, but probably wouldn't have walked again. I gotta say my goodbyes to him. stuck up for me. Pretty wild young guy. Had a few too many cute girlfriends. <laughs> oh, that's something else. I don't know. He always stuck up for me. He was always there for me. He was always on my side. Let's try some of these apples. No missing today. No missing today. No missing today. Still on the right side of the line. No missing today. No missing today. No missing today. What an athlete. <laughs> Never lost wrestling, ever. In his entire career. Not in high school, not in college. Never lost one match. He says, I almost came off the mat a couple times where the other athlete was that great and I thought I was going to die. Wow. The javelin thrower. The decathlete. World class. Fighter pilot. He said, I used to watch those movies up at the Egyptian Theater when I was a boy. With those dog fights more on, I knew when I was a kid what I was going to do. Not so good on now, but uh, not as good as it was this morning. That was a hell of a hit this morning. Talk to salmon numbers here in just a sec. I'm gonna get this done. There's plenty in there. We're gonna get a second chance. Right. Not as easy as it looks. Jackson, oh, it's the gripper. Kevin Blanks, the soup can flipper. We'll keep working this. We got time. You get three strikes in baseball. Use all of them, he used to say. You got three strikes, use all three. I remember being at this Super Bowl, he and I watching that game. Oh. That was one great, that was a, uh, he loved that guy. Tyson from here, he made that freaking, God, I almost say.
So, the big news, that's the big news, but the Mqua can of corn labeled as tomato sauce. So the Mqua for the year, for the year, in the hatchery still had five. You heard me right, five. What they have in 2010? 12,800. Five. He used to, he lives in Alaska, his big house. One of the rivers runs right behind his house. Oh, he knew. He was all over Fukushima. A chemistry background. He lived in Japan forever, for years. Ran the whole theater. He was the, he was the first shirt in Colorado Springs. Well, what a matter to me. What do you think I go so hard every day? The house is a place to freaking sleep and store your stuff in. Yeah, I know. What you work on? What you gotta do? He always supported me as the Fukushima activist. to the next place, Einstein would say. And then when you say, ha, athletes aren't, don't, don't have brains, <laughs> oh, he'd go on one. Try me, he used to say. <laughs> uh, valedictorian in chemistry. <laughs> Let's throw the job in. What a mighty spirit you are. I can only hope he has the man he was. Five. He was no Fukushima denier. We'll keep working on this. One right there. So close to my grandma. Do you admire her? Oh, you love her. No birds, not a bird. Good journey, bro.